Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to add a new character to the fighting template. I will leave you the template link in the description below. If you already have the template, then please make sure you have the latest version. I recently pushed an update to the template. To download the latest version, simply download the template again from the template itch page, or from GDevelop Store. Now let's begin. First thing first, I will make our new character. You can use any character you want, but make sure it has the same canvas size as the current characters, which is 64 by 64. For my new character, I will just recolor the current character hair in all animations. Make sure to also make your character frame animation, which is 32 by 32. My new character animations are ready. Now let's open the template project and open. Choose your character scene. Here we got only two characters to choose from, and now we are going to add another character to the list. First, open the character's icons group, and then right click on the object, armored character frame, and click duplicate. Now let's rename this new object to, blonde character frame. And then delete the current frames in it, and then add your new character frame, then click apply. Now let's add our new character frame to the scene and rearrange all objects. You can select the character object in the scene and then click on the lock icon above to unlock it and then we can move it. We will move the armored character to 250x and the non-armored character to 304x and our new character to 358x and 118y for all of them. Now let's update our character's preview as well. Double click on it to open it. Add a new animation and name it, Blonde Character. Now inside the new animation, I will add my character preview animations, which is 128 by 128, and make sure to change the animation speed to 0.1 to 5. Then click Apply, and that's it for the objects. Now let's open the scene events. Now open the group events, Characters Preview Frame, Player 1. This part is responsible for character's preview, and based on the select frame object X and Y position, we change the preview animation. Before doing anything, we need to update our X position numbers in this scene, because we rearrange the character's frame's X positions. In this notepad, you can see the old positions and the new positions, so we need to replace the old one with the new one. Press left control plus F on your keyboard, and in the top field, enter to 177, and in the bottom field, enter to 150, then click replace. This will replace all the numbers to 177 with 250. Now let's do the same, but in the top field, we enter 331, and in the bottom field, we enter 304. Then click replace, and that's it. All numbers are now updated. Now let's add our new character data into the events. Make another copy of this event and change its X condition to 358 because that's the new character frame 10 position. And change the animation to blonde character. Now we do the same thing but for player to group events And that's it for this group. Now let's update the next group event. Open the group event. Move select object. For player 1. Selected character. These events responsible for selecting the character. You can see what have two events. One for selecting the armored character. And one for non armored character. Now copy and paste any of these events. And in the X position condition, we will change the number to 358, because that's our new character frame object X position. Now rename the variable to, Blonde. This is our character name. And that's it for this group event. Now open the next group event. Select frame movement. Random pick. Now scroll down to this event. And change the number from 2, to 3. We make it 3, because now we have 3 characters in the list that the event should randomly pick one of. At this part, we need to add an event for our new character as well. 
So copy and paste the event and change the exposition condition to 358 and change the variable name to blonde. And that's it for this group. Next, open the group event, frame position. Again, we copy and paste the event to make a new one for our new character and we set the variable number to 2 and the exposition to 358 in the condition and action. This event is used to move the select frame object to our new character if the variable is 2. And that's it for this group. Now scroll down to these events and change the variable number from 2 to 3 because we have 3 characters now. And in the next event, change the variable number from 1 to 2 because the variable numbers start from 0 then 1 then 2. 0 for the first character on the left, 1 for the middle character, 2 for the new character, the one on the right. And that's it for this scene. Now let's go to main menu scene and test the game. Choose As you can see, character. we can pick our new character without any issue going right, left, up, and down. And when I select the random pick, it auto pick a random character from the three characters. I selected the new character for the AI. As you can see, my character has spawned but the new character for the AI didn't spawn. That's because we didn't update the game scene yet. So let's do that. Open the characters group. Right click on player one animations object, then click duplicate and name it player one animations blonde. And now you need to add all your new character animations. But be careful, inside the animations, we have points, we don't want to lose these points. So here is how to replace the animations without losing the points. We leave the animation frame, and we click, add a sprite. Then we select our animation, and then right click on the old animation frame, and delete. Now I will do this for all animations. I have replaced all animations, now we can click, apply. Now right click on our new character object and click duplicate. And name it player to animations blonde. And duplicate again and name it AI animations blonde. So now each player have his own character to control. Now duple click on P1 characters group object and add player one animations blonde object to the list and click apply. Now do it again for P to characters and add player to animations blonde. And again for AI characters and add AI animations blonde. Now let's open the game scene events. Open the group event spawning players. Again, let's make another copy of the event and then change variable name to blonde. Now we change the object name to player one animations blonde. We do this again now, but for AI spawning variable. And we do it again under to players mode. And that's it. Congratulations, you have added a new character to the game. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it helped you add more characters to your game. The fighting template link is in the description below. See you later in the next video. Fight.